Hey guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. Today, we are building something different. Don't know what to call it, but it's gonna have a dragon on it. Now, this was the dragon that I had carved on a walking stick. Um, I didn't like it because it ended up being too flimsy, as in this was on top of here. I was scared that these were gonna break if they ever fell or something like that, so replaced it both with the wolf's head. This is going out to a doctor. So in today's build, we are going to build a dragon, kind of a fortress, treasure, pillars, and so on. Let's get to it. So first thing we want to do is plug in our heat gun. Because we need our glue gun. Alright. Making sure that we have good amount of glue on hand. So, <coughs> this is just a straight idea that I came up with. I didn't see it anywhere on the internet. I have no idea. What I'm think, what we did is we did a one, two, three, four, five tier. Uh, each piece will be, can I drop the camera down? They're 10 inches long by uh, 15 inches no, sorry, 15 inches long by 10 inches wide, and then each individual piece starts off at 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches, and 6 inches. Now, the, why that's like that is so that it's an inch per square per character, all right, until it gets to the final one where we're not going to get anywhere with it. Pillars. These are corks corks from the dollar store all right so got a bag of corks that I had lying around figured well I'm gonna do something with it do it now let's bring that up just a bit all right so what I did was hot glued them together and kind of give them that kind of an odd look we'll do something with that in a bit so the first thing I'm we're gonna do is glue our pieces down what I did was I took a sanding block and I sanded them pretty straight. I also gave them a bevel on each side. All right. So what we want to do now is add each piece to our base. Um, not sure yet if we're going to put something at the bottom, maybe glue this on a piece of cardstock or whatever to keep this more firm. We can do that at the end. That's not an issue of that. For the walls, we have our bricks. These are leftover bricks. And what I was thinking is building up the walls all the way down to about here. Maybe have some um, torches and a background to go in the back, which we'll cut out later. We'll see see how that works but the first thing you need to do is get these pieces on so let's see if we're ready for this we're just using hot glue easiest way to stick something oh yeah just a good glob not too thick you want to get it everywhere just get a couple of good globs on there and that will stick. Again guys, hot glue. Doesn't take long for it to set. So you want to work with it right away. Get it to where you want it to go. Right off the bat. And that's it. Our first piece is set. It's on there. Go our second piece. Again. So that we have our glue. Each piece will be stacked up one on top of the other. We want to keep it flush. Okay. It's the easiest way to flush them off because they should be all pretty much the same in length. And if not, we can fix that later. Again, the same thing. We will put this guy Pressure on it. The 
last one is different. It has to be centered between each piece. Now we know that the whole piece will be 10 inches. So we have this at four inches. So we need to just make sure that we have three inches on, is that right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, three inches on each side. Get a ruler that's not so big. Give it a better shape. So roughly start off with this one. Three inches. And this side, a little bit less than three inches. It's not exact, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll just mark it off where it should sit. And then we have to decide if we want it in the middle or at the end. I think I'd like it more in the middle, like so. And then just adding them to the piece. And voila sit there simple the next step is to add our dragon all right our dragon has a tail issue but that's okay we're gonna fix that we're gonna just add a piece bring it along here not an issue we're gonna do it with probably foil paper uh, we may have to do that so all we're gonna do is round off the piece See what we're going to start off with. What we're going to do is we're going to keep a little bit of an edge to our dragon or to our tail. Okay. I'm trying to keep the same thickness. Off what we don't need you can keep a pen in there if you want wrap it around a couple times all right now what we have is a hole going through it and all we want to do is fit we'll just fit that first to see if it doesn't work we need to wind it up Fit it like that, so we know that this is the size of the tail. And what we'll do is we'll just add some glue. Which we will just harden and sort of roll if we can. So, and what we're going to do is take the tail out. I should get the glue on. We're going to add it like that so that we know it's part of the tail. We'll add some hot glue to this piece here. Pretty long tail, not gonna be this long when we're done. Okay, so once that is dried or stuck together, we have our tail. Oop, that's the only piece I meant to do. Okay. We are gonna add this to our dragon, but as we're doing that, we're just gonna figure out how much we do and don't need for tail. And we're just gonna shape it and mold it first. Right. So what we wanna do is just set it down. Then what we'll do is we'll add our hot glue inside of Piece. We'll give it a good amount. And we'll just put our tail in. 
and working with it while it's still warm will allow us to shape it. All right, so it's dry. So what we're going to do is just we're going to paint on. We mixed a bit of bluish green uh, and black, so it kind of blends in to the color. So we're just going to paint it up. This will be more of a background anyway, so we will just add that color. That's a shitty paintbrush. Not very solid. Paintbrushes are cheap. Go to your dollar store. You can wash them out, reuse them. I reuse them quite a bit until they're to the point where they don't look good, and then I just kind of toss them out. <laughs> so, so something like that, where it's not as noticeable. Kind of looks like the tail. It's a little fat. Whatever. It's the back foreground of what it's supposed to be. We'll sort of go up the tail so it looks like it's blended in. Like so. Alright. Touch up a little bit of the rocks. Alright. So next what we did, we'll let that dry for a couple minutes. Is we took our piece and we added, this is just like leftover red, kind of reddish Mod Podge fix that we did. So what we'll want to do is just take our darker color. Oh yeah, I think what I wanted to do. Now when I went and, when I went and sanded down, I accidentally hit the sides here. So instead of having it look like it's somewhat scratched, we're going to put some scratch lines in ourselves. Just just random lines. We used a foil ball. We got in there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to use it as texturing lines just by running a pen on it. Okay? We're going to do that everywhere. Just to give it like a texturing kind of different look. It's just not a straight kind of styrofoam look. It runs better this way when you go length or widthwise than just length. We're not putting grits on here. I'm not putting our grit, uh, not grits. I said, I said grits. Uh, not a graded kind of a base where you need to see squares. We're just going with kind of a, a ruined look. Do that to everything, like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our black Mod Podge kind of mix. And again, we know that this is just going to, well, it's gonna, A, it's gonna darken it, but B, it's also going to make it solid. And then we could add sort of like a white to grayish hint, tinge to it and uh, give it like a old castle look. So I'll continue here and get back to you. All right guys, so here we go. We started building the walls to our castle. But you can see the big gaps between it. That's fine. We're gonna fill that up anyway. So we're working on the other part. All we're gonna do is take our hot glue. Very simple. I should have had that plugged in before, but that's okay. Again. Always make sure you got lots on hand because it goes fast. Hot glue. You don't have to put much. So what we're looking at doing is adding the wall up to, oh, I don't know, maybe a little higher, maybe one more stack higher. And then we're going to put a backing here. The only thing I didn't think of at the time was how far the wings spread out. So if I put another wall here, it's going to be halfway through it kind of thing. But we're going to kind of make it ruined as in... Um, maybe it's been smashed or something in the back. It don't matter. It's more just display. What we did was we took our styrofoam and then we took our hot wire. Um, this is what we're using now. And we cut in grooves so it looks like it's sort of like a wooden floor if you can see that. Um, more paint will be added to it, of course, because we're going to do that. 
So all we're going to do is start by adding bricks all the way through and uh, we'll build up this wall. We don't want it too high because visually when people are playing the game they want to be able to see inside. It goes in the middle of the table and goes from there. So as this is heating up, we're waiting. It should be close. All we're going to do is add... Now, I made the mistake the last time not to put some on the sides of the build of the of the bricks, which I should have, because what happens is um, it doesn't form a good... A sol I don't find it... Fall it's, it does a solid bond enough when it comes up to only being on the flat surface, so pushing it together forms a way better bond, all right? So, pretty simple. All we're gonna do is add some hot glue to the bottom of it and to the side, and then we could we go by the stairs, so this way we could add it in, and we're trying to have it so it's, it's staggered, right? That's what we're trying to look for. We get pieces that are, they fit, we cut them uh, one by, one by half inch and we put our our uh, Mod Podge slash paint so just a black kind of paint we just mixed a bunch of colors to make a dark paint whatever was left over in some of the bottles it just made sense so see how fast the build is is it doesn't have to be perfect because we wanted to make it look like a ruined kind of a ruins right <laughs> if that makes sense but the thing is is adding too much hot glue will have it ooze out on the sides or it'll do those little wisps and all that and that doesn't really look good so we try to not I guess add too much just enough so that it sticks to it and you can see it, it'll start coming out on the sides that could also be painted over um, and it's easy to fix that way. All right, so we're set up for the walls. So what we want to do is take some brown and we want to paint up our um, pillars because we just don't want it all black. So we're just going to go ahead and should have painted this before we stuck it on, but that's okay. It's no big deal. We're just going to add, add some paint to them just to give them a different color than the building so what I did was I took uh, distilled water some brown and then some we're using because we're not we couldn't find any uh, Mod Podge at the dollar store so we got some it's called tacky glue so we'll do that so I'll have this painted up and we'll get back to you so we have our pillars they're brown, they're gonna change color. So what we wanna do next is you get yourself a little fan brush and basically just dip it in lightly into your color. So we use a grayish kind of a white. And all we're gonna do is we wanna hit the tops of our bricks so lightly and giving it that different color so it's just not only black the nice thing about the fan brush is it just separates all the colors so what we're looking for is sort of like a dirtyish kind of brick look like so so as you can see it's changed it from a dark a dark color on the inside you can see to a brickish kind of look. I'll continue going on and I'll get back. Right. So we are almost done. We have our dragon, we have our pillars that are all painted up, and our stonework. What we wanted to do is put a backing on it. So all I did was I took the pink foam that we have and I just kind of made its old walls. So what we want to do is make it so it's closed in the back. All we're going to do with this is hot glue it. Again, I could have had that set up, but I didn't. So, the gameplay is pretty much set. 
what we have is a lair for a massive dragon to come to life and come get you. I mean, I, I don't play the game. I just come up with the ideas. So what I'm thinking of doing for the back is hot gluing it to it. Um, but I think what, what could be done is maybe we could set something in there so it stays solid. We want to sort of pull the walls apart a bit. So what I was thinking is taking some toothpicks and adding that as sort of like braces, I guess. So we'll get a couple of sharp ones out. Don't need that one. And then literally just figuring out how deep we have to go. So say that much. And then just kind of cutting it. <coughs> so we're just gonna cut it in. Obviously, we'll need two of these. So what I'm thinking is we're just going to have this set up as sort of has braces inside. We're just going to line up where we want our bottom piece, uh, the first end. We'll go maybe two bricks down. Just kind of stick it through it all the way, like so. All right. So then that will be held into one of these guys. Second piece, the same thing. All right, all right. Final step to our build is to put our back on. So what we're going to do is just get a whole bunch of hot glue, put it on the edge. Like so. So from there, we just line it up where we want to go. We'll push it in with one edge. Make sure we have a tight bond. Also with the second edge here. sort of like a flush edge to it. We'll do it and clean up to it afterwards to see if we need to. I want to make sure that this edge, because this edge is kind of bulked out. Just lay it flat. Don't do that like that. Give it a little bit of pressure. Make sure we have pressure going down. And it only takes seconds for the hot glue to cure. Now it's not a perfect 90 degree leveled kind of an area, but that's okay because we can we can add stuff to it to make it look better after if we want. Have a little issue with this side here. Add some more hot glue in there. So here it is, complete. You got your gameplay going on. Simple, very basic. Didn't take that long to do. It took probably longer to paint and getting the mod podge and all that. This guy is carved wood. Used to be a topper. Simple. I haven't painted that guy yet. You got your treasures going on. So yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. Um, I'll put a link in below if anybody wants to help. I want to thank everybody for their support. I have a tip jar that sits in there. It goes linked to my PayPal's all 
donations and funds goes to the builds of building characters, adding different monsters if I have to purchase them, and so on and so forth. So, again, on to the next one. Thanks for watching.